you are Cuban 120%, but you're also almost, I feel like you're a citizen of the world by this time. How does that influence your music? Totally, totally. No, it has an impact. For me, I will say, I, I, I continue to say it, that uh, till these days, and I have been here in the United States since 2010, uh, you know, 13 years already. For me, still the United States is a working place. Still, it's still not home for it's me. It's not home? It's not yet home for me because every time I take that plane JetBlue from Havana to New York or we're coming from uh, Paris to New York, when I come back to the, to, to the United States in general, when I live in New York you now, mm -hmm. I feel that I'm always sending emails, organizing, practicing, next next goal, next concert, ah, next goal, I want to achieve this much, I want to be seen, I want to perform it. It's always, ah, I have never had this opportunity to say, okay, I'm coming home to relax. So when I'm in, in the United States, I feel that a competition, that, 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 that competition with myself, that I know that I can't be sleeping that much watching Netflix, mm -hmm. because I know that uh, my, my fellows, the pianists that I admire, mm -hmm. they are touring, they are performing, they are practicing at the time at the time that you are watching Netflix. So, you know what I mean. So for mm -hmm. me, that that sense of relaxing, I go home. I have a very very you know. I'm trying to even not have TV at home to be able to create an structure that is working. You know, because I came to the United States. Let's say we decided to left our comfort zone, which is Cuba, at least for me, you know, home is Cuba, for me it's still being Cuba, uh, to come to, to conquer something here, to be able to demonstrate something that you actually uh, want to bring your career to the next level, to achieve uh, power, to achieve money, to achieve career success, to achieve some, achieve some awards, recognition, wider recognition, and, uh, and I believe that uh, there's no time to be relaxed yet. Yeah. That's because, the American way. Yeah, that's the American way. That's exactly it. Because, you know, when you go to Paris, I see my friends in Madrid. They see my friends in Paris, you know, in Switzerland, anywhere in Europe. That is a different approach. Yeah, you know, it's a different Europe, vibe. A bit of different vibe. You know, take your time. I don't have a little beer, you know, then, you know tomorrow is tomorrow. No, in the, in the U.S., you, you know, you live, for, you live for work, you know, you live yeah. to work, you live to work. So we are here conquering, achieving, what, okay, we finished this, this tour, what's amazing, money-wise, recognition-wise, we had a good press, so what's the next tour? And now I made this much money, now I want to make the next one, I got this Grammy, and now I want to get a second Grammy. So, but in a way, it has been good. Because my career, my music itself, have really evolved in such a good way because I have been putting myself in a position that I don't want to be comfortable. So when you feel comfortable, you feel like you are retired and you are, you are too comfortable, you conquer, you already did. No, I haven't done nothing. I feel like, I, would you see those, those much accolades that I, that I had? I still are good, but uh, oh, there is so many more that I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. So in a way, in the United States, I feel that I'm, it's not, it's not home for me, you know, it's still not home for me. That's very interesting. So. For me, it's the opposite. I, I go to Cuba and like my family is there. I haven't been back in almost six years and I'm really excited because I'm going next month to see my family. But when I come to America, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm back home. Mm -hmm. And I feel very grateful. It's like the, this huge wave of gratitude comes over me and I have a little moment of that, like 30 seconds of gratitude. And then I enter into the, the super the speed of like, well, you better take advantage of the opportunity that you have, you know? Like I'm just coming from the country where so many people are struggling and they want what you have, yeah. the chance to come to America. Right. So you better put on, you better put out, right. you better make right. sure that you're taking advantage of everything. Right. And in my case, it's like being here, Hollywood, you know, like I love film. That's my, I guess for you, loving jazz and music, no, New York. I mean, is, New York, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I just, last, we are in April now. Last November, I did my debut concert at Lincoln Center, New York. Oof. So as a, as a jazz musician, I, you know, I called my mom, mom, I made it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did perform as a leader at Carnegie Hall. And then New York Times, Wall Street Journal, New York, put in my face, along with Chucho Valdez, one of my biggest heroes. Wow. So I, I, I have been doing Blue Note, I have been touring the world, I have been, you know, having the best press in the United States talking, you know. A, 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 a talk you, you know, I think you need to take a, a second right now. You open... Carnegie Hall, and you had the Wall Street Journal 
put out an article. <laughs> like, I'm getting the shells and I'm not a musician. Yeah, I feel sinful. You know, I... That is, I'm so happy for you. That is remarkable. Yeah. I, I, I you know, see, 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 I, I feel sinful. I, n nothing has have, have been given to me. Mm -hmm. I have put a lot of hours, a lot of time. I have cried a lot. I have really focused. I have prepared a plan. I have been a very focused, tonal focus in that plan. I did the transition to be a musician, to become an artist. An artist is the one who is no longer the pianist who plays. Now you are a, 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 a cultural ambassador to Cuba. You are now someone who a, your words had, had an impact on the audience that you have. Now I'm someone that the, what, the way I dress, I have people that follow that. I'm, I, you know, I was the first Cuban, national Cuban, living in El Cerro, Havana, to actually go from El Cerro all the way to Berkeley College of Music as a presidential scholarship. So after me, there is six, seven, eight more Cubans who have entered, entered Berkeley and they grind me that they say that they follow, that they feel completely uh, uh, inspired that I was able to open the door to let them believe that inside Cuba or from Miami, from anywhere, but as a Cuban, that you can actually enter one of the, one of the best uh, schools uh, in, in the world. And uh, I feel very, very happy to see that, uh, that, I'm, that I'm someone who inspired the youth. So in regard to... Uh, mm -hmm. I was curious, when you were saying all of that, I was wondering, what did you have to sacrifice to achieve what you have achieved? See, one is to be very selective with the people I wanted to have around me. I am very, very, very uh, uh, clear of you know what, what type of people I want around me. What I mean about that is like a, I believe that I want to be surrounded with people that are on my level of understanding or even better than me, that have conquered the same or more than I. People that I love to read, people that I love to, to appreciate having the time uh, uh, of, 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 putting, of putting the extra having the time to put in the extra. People who are mentally focused, focused in what they do. And you can see that, you know, you are hanging with a friend and this friend is saying, okay, well, let's go to bars, let's have beers, let's have this and that. And you don't see that this guy is really 100% focused in what he needs to do and he's not conquering what I want. So for me, that's it's not that as inspiring to hang with this person. So, uh, uh, because I always said, you know, we are hearing a mentality that we want to focus and conquer certain things, right? So I've been able to, you know, we say we can control the family that we have your parents, but you can actually choose the wife that you want to have, the people that you want to have around you, the friend that you want to have around. That's that one. The other thing is that I have sacrificed, sacrificed is that uh, a putting the time, putting the time to the instrument, to be the best PhD doctor that I can be in my instrument, that I, that I feel that I can actually play classical piano, that I can play anything on my instrument as a vocabulary, that I can speak as fast as I want, as slow, as tender, as romantic, as uh, you know, have different type of expression through my instrument. So in order to do that, you have to put a lot of time to actually uh, control the instrument. And the third element is that I always had that uh, immense desire. That's a personal desire mm -hmm. to, to immense desire to succeed.